Rissa is the best tank to play in Season 2 of Overwatch 2. So today we have Andrew from the EU Ladder joining us. Hello, I'm Andrew. I am a EU Contenders tank player, and I've been maining Orisa since Season 1 when she was underrated. Oh my God. So we have a bunch of tips for every Orisa matchup, beginning with the tanks, starting with D.Va. Here we go. For D.Va, you can peel for your team by spearing her out of the air from the side or the back if she flies past you to dive your team. But be careful because she can eat it with Matrix. When she's looking to D.Va bomb your team, you can spear it midair to stun it. Or, in worst case, you can use your ult to slow it down so it doesn't make it around the corner. You automatically fortify when ulting too, which allows you to tank the entire bomb even if it's up your face as long as you have armor. Orisa is a huge counter to Doomfist, especially with your spear. You can cancel everything. His rocket punch, seismic slam, and his power block. All three are good abilities to use it on, with the priority being empowered punch, power block, and seismic slam. For his block, you need to spear it early before your teammates shoot him, because if he's already blocked a bit of damage, the spear will stun him, but it can still give him the remaining damage needed to power up. Orisa is a great pick into the newly buffed Junker Queen, and you have two ways to stop her buffed axe attack. You can use your spear to cancel her out of it, or you can use Javelin Spin, but it will give her a shortened 6 second cooldown with her new buff. One thing you can do is bump her away with the spin, but then take a step back to avoid the X to ensure it stays on the maximum 8 second cooldown. In general, Chunker Queen will use her shout and engage your team, usually ignoring you since you're so tanky as Orisa. What you want to do is cycle your abilities to stall out her shout and stop her engage. Push her away with Javelin Spin first, then Spear, then Fortify to keep the pressure up, then Spin should be almost ready again. In the Orisa Mirror, you need to bait out the enemy Orisa's Fortify first, so that you can engage with yours and play aggressively. That is how you tiff them. You just sit there and shoot Orisa and wait until one of her teammates makes a mistake. Then you can try and Spear to punish them. That means you must do the same. Your teammates may miss position, so you have to peel by fortifying so their Orisa can engage on your team. Spin to stop damage and Spear them. Orisa counters Ramatra really well while he is in Omnic form. Don't be afraid to go fully aggressive if you see him finish his Nemesis form and he doesn't have his ult. When he's in Nemesis form, I recommend spearing him and pushing him away with spin. You also take no damage from his punches while spinning. I don't fully take the fight in this form because all I want to do is buy time until he's back into Omnic and take advantage of that. When he ults, spear him away and use your spin with the movement speed to get out of his range so the timer runs out. Against Ryan, try to pressure his shield and engage after. This matchup is all patient. You have an answer to everything he does. He wants to charge, spear him away or fortify. He wants to swing, use fortify and shoot him. He wants to fire strike, javelin spin to eat it. And if he wants to shatter, spear it, fortify it or push him away with javelin spin, then spear or fortify it. Orisa is a great tank to play into Roadhog because again, you can counter everything from him. If he hooks your teammate, you can spear him away or you can javelin spin up in his face if you don't have it. The biggest tip against his ult is not to fortify or use your ult because you can't be boop, which allows all his pallets to hit. You need to press your fortify again to cancel it to allow yourself to be knocked back so you don't take as much damage. Then use your spin so you can control where you reposition. Against the Sigma, you want to bait his kinetic grass by pressuring his shield and then fully engage afterwards. If you're already up close, you can actually walk past his shield and try to spin him into your team. He'll usually panic and use his grasp, so wait it out and spear him after. Sigma always wants to play from medium distance, so his orbs explode. And push him into your team messes up his spacing and makes it harder for him to hit his orbs consistently up close. Against his ult, try to spear him out of it to stop it. You can always save yourself through with fortify or even your ult if you're down bad since you get an automatic fortify when using it. Against good Winstons, this one is actually a harder matchup because he will ignore you and go way past you into your backline. Just look to spear him out of the air every time or if he's not too deep, you can peel him back and spin him out of his bubble. He won't do much damage to you since you have armor and fortify which can also stop his primary rage boobs. Against Ball, look to spear him off cooldown. It's on a 6 second cooldown and his grapple is a 5 second cooldown. By the time he sets up and tries to fireball, you're ready to stop him from playing the game. Fortify will also stop you from being booped or knocked up when he pile drives. You just hold your ground and he will eventually swap. Your ult can also destroy all his mines since its range is so big and it's really useful on control maps when they cover the entire point. Against Zarya, all you do is bait bubbles. That is it. As long as you see one used, call it out and you can go aggressive into a second bubble. Against her grab, try to eat it with spin. 
If not, use your 45 to body block the grab and just walk down. Against Ash, you can stop Bob from running if you spear him. Or you can javelin spin to push him out of line of sight for your team. Other than that, you shoot back at her if she's within medium range and even spear her out of position. Against Bastion, you have to wait out his sentry form because it can still melt you even with 45. You can buy time with your javelin spin to help your team get into cover. After that, you can spear him and kill him super easily. You can also hit Bastion's ultimate projectiles with javelin spin if well timed. Against Cass, you want to spear him out of his high noon or javelin spin to eat it. If you have neither spear or javelin spin, you can save your teammates by using fortify and staying in front of them. If they are behind you, Cassidy's ultimate will kill them, it just hits you. Whenever he rolls away, you can also suck him back in with your ultimate. Against Echo, you generally ignore her and look at her other teammates. But if you have to contest her, remember that your javelin spin can eat the sticky bombs and use your fortify when you're half HP so the beam won't get the bonus damage. After she loses her duplicate, she will use her flight right away and you can pull her back with your ult and kill her. Genji can deflect your spear, but he can't deflect javelin spin and will still take the damage. This is good for when you need to corner him or to confirm a kill when he's low. If Genji uses his ult, you can either wait for him to use his dash and then spear him away from your team, or try to stick with your team and javelin spin him away after he dashes onto you. Javelin spin can eat Hansel's dragon arrow if he fires it too close to you. Other than that, you don't do much to Hanzo if he's playing at a sniping distance. Wait for him to make a mistake, and if he plays too close, then Javelin spin into him to eat his arrows and close the gap. Then, spear him if he tries to wall climb to get away. Against Junkrat, if you get trapped, you can fortify and free yourself. Sometimes, you can wait and bait Junkrat to peek it, then fortify and try to spear him and kill him. Orisa's spear can also boop the tire back and deal 60 damage to it, but if it's near a wall, you can instantly destroy it because it will deal the bonus 40 damage from the wall impact. If the tire comes to you, press fortify immediately and you can survive. Against Mei, your fortify will stop the slow on her primary fire and is the best way to force her ice block. From there, you can either walk around and push her into your team with javelin spin for a kill or you can use her ult and build up the damage. She's stuck and can't escape. Activate it as soon as she comes out of ice block before she's able to wall herself from it. Against Farah, it's not your job to shoot her unless she gets too close and tries to barrage. Only then should you try to spear immediately to cancel it. Or javelin spin to buy time to get into cover. Barrage will kill you if you try to fully tank it with fortify. Against Reaper, I keep an eye on him and use my spin immediately to push him away from my team, followed up by a quick spear to either kill him or cancel his ult if he's going for it. Against Sojourn, keep an eye on her slide. That's how you pick her off. Cancel it with a spear or engage quickly with your spin into her once you know she has no escape. You can also ult immediately the moment she slides near you to suck her back in. Against Soldier, keep cycling your cooldowns to mitigate as much damage as possible and play near natural cover if you have nothing available. He's generally going to play out of your range anyways, so be mindful of him in case he gets out of position. When he uses Visor, Javelin spin to eat the damage and get your team behind you in cover. If not, you can pop fortify and tank most of it and block the line of sight to protect your teammates by keeping them behind you. Against Sombra, your javelin spin can be cancelled by hack. So you actually want to use fortify first in your cooldown cycle if you're getting hacked since it won't cancel it. That's it. Fortify is the key here in this matchup. Use this first and spear her and pressure her to kick her out of the fight every time. The same concept applies when she's going for an EMP play. Against Symmetra, this matchup is all about hitting your spears or else it's GG's because she can still charge her beam off your spin. If you see a TP play into your team, try to spear away from it and use spin to ensure she can't TP back. Against Torb, it's quite straightforward, since Javelin spin can eat his projectiles like every other hero. Shoot his turret down when you see it and spear him if he gets close. Javelin spin can eat his coom, <laughs> so try getting into his face to eat as much as possible. Just don't ult if he has coom since it will burn you down so fast. Tracer is hard to consistently hit, so try your best to spear her by predicting a blink or recall location. Fortify is the best way to survive her pulse bomb, and if you don't have it and you're stuck, you can also use your ult in worst case scenarios. Widowmaker will usually play out of your effective range, so the best thing you can do is block shots with fortify or javelin spin to help your team cross to safety or cover if they're in the open. If there's no one else nearby to shoot at, you can spam her out. It won't deal as much damage with fall off, but it can pressure her to leave her positions. Against Ana, try engaging with a spear or shoot her first. 
Then, Javelin has been after since she needs a bit of pressure first before she reacts with Sleeper Anti. Against Bat, use your Javelin Spin to push his entire low HP team out of the lamp, which will also do enough damage to finish them off if they have no more healing cooldowns available. If you see him trying to jump to safety, you can suck him back down with your ultimate. If you're engaging on Brick with your spin, make sure to fortify right after so she has no chance of booping you back with Whipshot since it doesn't go through either of your abilities. If you see her shield bash, you can suck her in with your ult and kill her since she has no escape. Against Kiriko, she'll usually play safe and far away, so try pressuring one of her teammates and force her to panic TP plus Suzu into them. Once she's blown both cooldowns, you hard engage into her because you have a 7 second window to kill her before she can TP out again. When you ult, make sure to force Suzu beforehand or you'll have to pray she missed times it. Kiriko 1, dead, dead. If Lucio beats nearby, you can quickly use Javelin Spin to hold him up in the air and finish him with a spear to cancel his beat and kill him. In general though, your Javelin Spin should be used to peel for your team and slow down his speed engagements. Against Mercy, don't waste your time focusing her if she's flying midair because she's so slippery now. You're better off spearing her DPS pocket into a wall and beaming them for headshots since that will still kill them. Then, camp the potential rest and either use Javelin Spin to boop her away or Spirit to knock back or stun her out of it. Against Moira, you can Javelin Spin to eat the orb, which is useful if you're in a small room. But I wouldn't use it on every orb, especially if it's early in the pre-fight and in the open. You should also save your Spear for when Moira ults, as that's one of the few ways to cancel it. Zen is really easy to kill, since he has no mobility at all. Just try to land a free Spear and then take him out of the fight. You can still burst people through his trance while you're ulting. You just need to have it charge high enough. And that's all the tips we have for Season 2. Thanks for joining us, Andrew, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for having me, Karku. If you guys want to learn more about Orisa, find me at AndrewW on Twitch or YouTube, where I do educational content.